بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hi dear medical students Let's hear medical students We will talk today about medical terminology This is lecture 1 What do you mean by this lecture? What is medical terminology? First of all We have to know There are different types Of terms used in medicine Medical terminology Is a language used to precisely describe the human body it including it is component and processes conditions affecting it and also the procedure performs upon so it is regarding a human body components process conditions there are two main categories either constructed and non-constructed terms this is the non-constructed and this is the constructed we have to collect different words or parts of words to give a meaning so this is the con constructed and this is the non this is constructed and this is non constructed now microscopic examination we mean micro is a prefix meaning small while the scope is a root word meaning a viewing instrument and the ek or this is a suffix comes at the end of the word meaning retaining to or have to do it with so when we say microscopic examination this word this is the microscope and examination through the microscope so it means there is a micro some we call it the prefix and means this is something small scope to be viewed by this instrument something small to be seen by this instrument and the egg means pertaining to do by this microscope and we have another example as hemophilia heme is a root word meaning the blood O is combining bowel and philia is suffix it comes at the end of the word meaning love of so hemophilia what is it hemophilia it is a lifelong disorder result in excessive bleeding and there is spontaneous bleeding sometimes it is internal bleeding so forming medical terms we have prefix just in the beginning of the word and we have the combining forms or vowels and we have the word root this is the foundation of medical terminology and suffix it is at the end of the word so if a medical term is not constructed from a combination of two words or word part then it can be can be called as a non constructed and these are words derived from other languages for example derived from the name of people or from initials that form acronym, acronyms or from a form of abbreviation and to learn the meanings of an unconstructed term you must simply commit them to memory so you have to memorize these words and to use it later on so the term for example pasteurize it refers to process of heating milk to a temperature that kills harmful microorganism and this term derived from the name of it is inventor who is Louis Pasteur what do you mean by word root word root act as a foundation of most medical terms this is the basic part and a word root contain the basic meaning of the term in medical terminology the word part usually this part is usually but it not always indicate the involved body part usually but not always for example the word root remaining meaning stomach is gast, gaster stomach is part of body and the, it means the, as we said it is basic mean so we, we say the stomach in a word root is gaster they usually derived either from greek or latin words like for example kidney in a greek word it is nephros while by latin word it is renis most medical terms have one or more 
word roots, for example, gastroenteritis, and there is the vowel to combine them, the O level to combine gaster and enteritis. This indicates the stomach, and this part indicates the intestine. We have example of word roots. For example, the heart, in a Greek word, it is cardia, and as a word root, it is cardi. Gaster is the stomach, in a Greek word, and gaster here as a word root. Hyper is liver, as a word root, it's hepat. Nephro is kidney, and here is nephr. Osteon as a bone, and in a word root, it is osteon. Now, what is a prefix? Prefix usually, but not always, also indicate location, time, number, and the status. Okay, so a prefix always come at the beginning of the word. Prefix in the beginning, suffix at the end of the word. We will talk here about the prefix. So it always come, comes at the beginning of the word. You will know a word part is a prefix when it is shown followed by a hyphen dash. For example, hyper means excessive or increased. As in hyperglycemia, there is an increased sugar level in the blood, so it indicates a status. The status of a blood sugar level in our body or in somebody's blood, it is high, we call it hyperglycemia. And sometimes a prefix indicate number. So this crime number, we have a few examples. Here, either we call it mono or uni. Mono or uni indicate the meanings of one. For example, mononuclear, this is as mono, which is only one. And uni, when, when we said unilateral, only one side of the body is involved. It is unilateral, left side or right side. Whether it is bi, which means here two, it is bilateral. So we said bilateral renal involvement, which means both kidney are affected by disease or by trauma. Try, it indicates three, number three, and we have, we called triplicate, triplicate. Okay, so it means sometimes direction and position. For example, up, out in abduction, abduction which means away from. So when you lift your arm from your side above, it means abduction. Adduction, when we move the hand toward our body, so it is towards our body, you call it adduction. Ecto or exo, it is outside part of the body, as ectoparasite or the ectoderm is the upper part of the skin. Endo, which is the inside part, as an endoderm, the inner part of the skin layers. What about suffix? Suffix usually, but not always, indicate procedure, condition, disorder, or disease. Suffix always come at the end of the word as we said, and you will know that part is suffix when it is shown with a hyphen preceding it. This is dash. For example, the suffix itis means inflammation. So example, we have this example, erythro involving the joint. Erythrocentesis means there is puncture, injury to the joint and erythrocentesis we may puncture the joint as in this by needle and draw a sample of a fluid from the joint that's what we called arthro where is the suffix where is the suffix here here centesis erythrocentesis means puncture to draw fluid from the joint centesis not only the joint from any area containing a fluid but here, as we said, it is from the joint, from erythro, so it is erythrocentesis as puncture of the joint. This is number one. Number two, thoraco means thorac means chest. And thoracotomy, thoracotomy, tomy is incision. So we combine the two together, thoraco, tomy. And this is a vowel to combine the two parts together. Thoracotomy means there is incision of the chest here, as in this part. Gastro means stomach. 
gastric stomach and all is evolved to combine this with the other word megaly means enlargement megaly so gastromegaly means there is enlargement of the stomach gastromegaly or maybe hepatomegaly splenomegaly according to the organ that enlarged thank you thank you so much